what's up you guys and welcome back again to my channel today we are going to be talking about farming the wandering trader llamas all right or this actually uh goes for llamas in general but these ones specifically are the wandering trader llamas and we're going to be talking about farming them why you fart them what they're useful for and we'll go over all of that in just a minute. If you want to see this video, make sure you stay tuned after the intro. We'll be back in just a second. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave us a comment. And if you know anybody else that likes this kind of thing, please, please, please share the channel with them. It really helps the channel grow. All right, we'll be back in just a second. you guys let's go ahead and get right into it so as you can see here I have a farm started of these wandering trader llamas and um, they're basically the same as your regular llamas that you find out in the in the hilly biomes basically the biomes that are really hilly that's where you can find regular llamas but these ones kind of pop up anywhere and you don't have to go and search for them and they do everything that the regular llamas will do okay so I need to go sleep in this bed real quick because I don't want my pigs to get struck by lightning so let me do that real quick but anyway these llamas like I was saying will do the exact same things that your your other llamas will do Okay, and everything that I do with these guys, you'll see that you'll find that you can do them with the regular llamas, except these guys are so much easier to obtain because you find them on any wandering trader. Now, one of the questions that everybody asks is, can you ride these? And the answer is pretty simple. It's yes, you can ride them. And no, you cannot. <laughs> it means yes, you can climb on their back and you can get on top of them right so here let me let me show you so I just climb right up there and then I can ride on him but the shorter answer is is it useful though and it really is not okay so I could ride on him if somebody was to lead him around but it's not gonna make a difference because I can't control it okay but I can tame these guys and I can have them put chests on their side and then I can lead them wherever I want to go so that I have extra storage space and now when you have a bunch of them that are tamed they will automatically follow you within when they get in with a certain within a certain distance so see here I have these two that are tamed let's put them by each other okay and then I'll take the lead off and then watch what happens I've got him on a lead and now this other guy oh why isn't it working it was working just a second ago now I, if I had them both having chests they would both follow me around okay now let me take the leads off and ideally you can and I saw this working before have all of your tame llamas follow you so I'm not sure why this one's not following me right now however he should be come on Mr. Llama maybe he's sticking close to the other ones let's see if I let them out Ah, that's why this one wants to follow me there we go so any of the tamed llamas will automatically follow you around no matter where you go as long as you have one of them on a lead and this really can help you if you need a lot of inventory transferred all at once you can put chests on their sides and then as long as you're not going too fast and this first guy doesn't pop off of the lead so if you go too far 
he will he will uh, fall off the lead but as long as I don't do that these guys will basically follow me anywhere and the whole line of them will follow me what make which makes it really nice and then if I want to take like a like a field trip and I have a whole bunch of people I could just put, tell them all to sit on one of the the llamas and then I'll just lead them around wherever I want to go kind of like a little train and we'll just go on a little field trip and we'll take them over wherever they want to go now one thing that is pretty cool about the wild llamas is you can actually change the color of the carpet that's on their back and all you have to do let me get them all back in here so let's get them all back in the pen come on go over there climb in come here llamas Uh, he's in the way. Let's give him a little push. Get in there. Alright, let's see if they'll all fall in line here. Come on, llamas. There we go. Now they don't want to stay in line because they are let off the lead. And so, let's talk about breeding these guys. Once you get two of them, okay, then you can start breeding these guys and getting more and more and more. That's how I've started farming them. And how you breed them is you need hay bales. Okay, and then you feed them one hay bale. One hay bale. Let me get up on here on my carpet here. And then it'll turn it into love mode. And then they... I don't want to ride you, bro. And then it'll put them into love mode and they'll just start creating little baby llamas. And just like all the other mobs, animals in the game, once they create a little baby, they drop experience points. So in another way, these guys are also, let me do this from out here, that way, what? I want to ride on him. It's kind of a pain. Because the same button for me on my PlayStation uh, to feed them is the same button to ride them. And I really don't want to ride on them. I just want to feed them. And so that's how you do it right there. Okay. I guess if they already ate, it's going to put me right on his back. But you can see here I have two little baby llamas and I can wait for them to grow up on their own or I can feed them also the hay bales and they will grow up quickly as well. Now if you find one you have to tame it and the way you tame these guys is you basically just sit on their back until they, they start to love you and then once you see the hearts popping out of their llama's head then you know that the llama is tamed and you can take it and do it uh, anything you want as it's your pet now and you can either farm him like I'm doing you can basically do whatever you want okay let's see and I don't know if this is possible yet but let's see if you can change out the color of the wandering traders llama so let's see if we can't do that let's do let's do white I want to make white carpet Ooh, did that change oh no that's a painting okay there we go let's do the carpet and then I'm going to see it because I don't actually know if this is possible so it's a a good little test for us in our video because I know with the regular llamas you can put carpet on their back and it places it just like these guys and you basically have a wandering trader llama now if you have these guys you just squat down go into his inventory here 
and then hopefully if I place that there oh it does and you can change the color of his little I don't want to call it a saddle but the carpet that is on his back you can change the color of it which is pretty cool so you can do a lot of different editing and you can do that with the regular llamas as well you can add it you can, let's see what happens when I take it off now nope this guy here we go so with these guys once you take it off they just go back to the wandering trader llama or you can change the color pretty cool anyway that is the wandering trading wandering trader llama farm the, that's is what the llamas are useful both the regular llamas and the wandering trader llamas uh, like I said you can find them anywhere the wandering trader just randomly spawns everywhere throughout the world so as long as you're in and out of a base over and over and over there you're gonna find one uh, just give it some time and eventually one will spawn near you and then you can take the llamas from him at first they're gonna be angry with you especially if you kill the wandering trader but if you ride on their back and give it a few minutes they're gonna stop spitting at you and then you can uh, lead them back to your base or you can tame them and you can't ride them back you have to actually lead them back with either the hay bales or with the leads but either way that's how you get them back and then you can farm them and create more babies by feeding them hay bales and yeah then you have a a freight farm basically mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, where you can haul tons of stuff at once um, I would say the hay bales is probably the easiest way to catch their attention and the fastest way the leads you quite often lose their attention and they fall off the leads so the hay bales they'll probably follow you a lot faster um, other than that I think that's it guys if you like the video please head down to the bottom click that like button if you want to see more videos just like this please subscribe to my channel if you know anybody else that likes this kind of thing please share the channel with them it really helps the channel grow and guys please don't forget to send a comment or good or bad we don't really want to uh, say you know only good comments because the bad comments can be you know useful as well so please leave us a comment let us know how we're doing um, and if you like the videos come back and watch some more guys thanks for joining us we'll see you next time have a good one later